it's Amanda so today I'm doing kind of a different video I haven't filmed a Halloween makeup video in a very long time almost like two years but I saw this picture on Twitter I'm not taking credit for this look at all this is not my idea I saw it on Twitter and I fell in love with it and I really really wanted to try it out so this is the picture that I saw and like I just loved it i thought it was so pretty i've never seen anything like it i'm not sure what her name is i don't even think that it was her account that like i saw the picture from it was just like a random account on twitter but i fell in love with it but i decided that i wanted to recreate it i am no makeup artist i'm no james charles i am not a professional at this i just really like playing with makeup and i think it's really fun so i did try out this look already last night so that i wasn't like going into this completely like i don't know what i'm doing this is more of like me showing you guys a look that I think is really cool than like a tutorial but it also can be a tutorial kind of because it's not that hard. So I started off with just foundation. I know I look pretty crazy but that's pretty simple. You just do your foundation routine. First I'm going to be priming my eyes with Urban Decay Primer Potion. Next I'm just going to set that. I'm just going to use my powder for my face so... So the two palettes that I'm going to be switching between is the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. So this just has a bunch of very warm tones. And then the second palette, which yesterday when I tried this look out, I used more of these colors for my face. This palette is so gorgeous. It's the, I don't know, it's by Morphe, but... I don't know which one it is. It doesn't say so. So first I'm going to take the shade Sauce and Low Low from the Heat Palette and put that in my crease just to get like a shade going in there. Next, I'm going to take um, a bunch of like redder shades, like there's like Enfuego in the Urban Decay palette, and then in the Morphe palette, there's this shade called Wingman. So yeah, just kind of like more red shades I'm going to take, and I'm going to blend them like in my crease more on top of this. Next, what I'm going to do is take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm going to kind of cut my crease, but before I do that, I'm going to kind of clean up like in here a little. I don't want it as like dark in there and the shadows kind of just took over. Okay, so after that, it's like a half cut crease, um, I'm not the best in it, but whatever. So then I'm going to be taking the shade Lumber from the Urban Decay palette, it's that, and I'm putting that over where I just cut my crease. Next, I'm taking these two brushes, and first I'm taking a black from my Naked Smoky palette, and I am putting that on my lower lash line, and then after that, I'm taking the red color again, and I am blending it with another little brush, and I'm like kind of blending them together and smoking out the bottom lash line a bit. Also, she has on fake eyelashes in this picture. I literally just can't with fake eyelashes. I don't know how to use them on certain individuals, so I'm just gonna not use them. Next, 
Next, I'm taking my little messed up eyeliner. It's like a just black pencil. I'm going to be putting that on my waterline and my tight line. Next, I'm taking a liquid liner and I'm just lining my top lash line with a very, very thin line. So I'm going to put on mascara, but I'm just gonna wait because I have to put a lot of gems and stuff on my face and uh, some like go on like my eyelids and stuff. I'm gonna start with my nose. So for the nose, she has like a skeleton type thing shape on her nose. It was really hard for me to get it the shape I wanted it yesterday. So we're gonna try a little harder today, but I'm gonna use this very, very thin eyeliner brush and this pretty vulgar the ink blacklist gel eyeliner and I'm going to try my hardest to get a very thin shape happening on my nose okay I hate that I literally hate that I'm taking that literally off there's so much trial and error with this stuff like it's not gonna come out perfect the first time I don't know how she did that that's like the one part that I like I'm really struggling with okay, I'm gonna use this different brush it's more thin So I'm just gonna leave that how it is or I'm gonna drive myself crazy. I don't love it. That's as good as it's gonna get. Like nobody is perfect, so. Next I'm gonna take this little glitter thing that I bought. It's from Revlon, it's the Photo Ready Eye Art Lid and Line and Lash. I don't know, I basically just bought it because it had this like glittery end and I needed glitter. So I'm just gonna put a little like dot on the end of my nose. And I'm gonna do that a little on my lid. And then I'm going to do little dots on my inner corners. I'm going to take a little bit of eyeshadow and blend it on like the side edges of this on my nose. So a lot of shading right now. I'm going to start with like the main color I think and that is bottoms up. It's this orange color from the Morphe palette and I'm just going to blend this like on my forehead. You can kind of have fun with this part. It's just all kind of up to you what colors you want to use, I guess. And like, I just love this like orangey look. I think it's so cool. Around your mouth, you're gonna do it more light. This next part is kind of, you have to be very precise. I um, cleaned it up after with concealer, so that's what I'm probably gonna do again. But you are going to kind of just place this. We're gonna do other colors to add more dimension. This is like the base color. You kind of just follow your cheekbone down. So then I'm taking the color Wingman from the Morphe palette, the very dark color, kind of just finding everything a lot more. So to define my forehead, basically we're gonna be taking that darker color but we're just gonna do it the slightest amount. We're gonna just kind of do it only by like the hairline. I didn't do this part yesterday. I feel like it just makes 
makes it look a lot better with this. It just adds so much more dimension and it looks cooler, so. Now that I look insane, okay. Speaking of this white, right, I'm just gonna be lining like right there. Okay, so it's very light because that white eyeliner is very bad, but I'm going to be taking this Stila eyeliner in, I mean, eyeshadow in Moonlight and just going over it to kind of make it brighter. So now we're gonna be doing the lips. So I'm gonna be just using this eyeliner first and then I'm gonna go like over it and make it more defined with the gel. But I'm basically just making them look like a skeleton. So now for the very fun part, all of the rhinestones and I got these like pearl rhinestones and then two packs of regular ones, but these ones are smaller and these ones are bigger. And I'm basically just gonna be following the pattern that she has going on in her face and putting them everywhere. So I'm not gonna be talking during this because yesterday when I did this, it took me forever. So we're just gonna speed through it um, and yeah. So I just finished up off camera. I did mascara and the rest of the gems because it just took way too long. Um, I started this at like 2.30 and it's 5.03 right now. So yeah, <laughs> it took a really long time. But this is the final look. As I said in the beginning, I'm not a makeup artist by any means. I'm not a pro at this. I'm not the best, but I thought it was really fun. And I think that this look is so beautiful and really different and really cool and i'm obsessed with it so yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel and yeah i love you guys so much back thank you so much for watching and i will talk to you next time oh uh, yeah 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 mm -hmm. what's up with all the girl hey girl shit